We've got lots of fun things in store for you. We're going to be learning a new chord, the chord of D major. We're going to be learning about the parts of the guitar and we're going to be learning a new riff of the week. So grab your guitar, get ready and let's get started. The first thing we need to do before we start any new lesson is make sure our guitar is in tune. So just like we learned in the first lesson, we learned the notes of each string. So let's tune and make sure we're ready to go. So we'll start with our low E string. Then A. Then G, then B, then high E. And the chord we're going to use to check that we're in tune is the chord of E major that we learned in one of the previous lessons that you can find here or here. When your guitar is in tune, we are ready to get started with this week's lesson. So for this part of the lesson, we're going to learn the chord of D. For the chord of D, you need to use your first, second and third fingers. And we're going to be focusing mainly on the second and third fret of the guitar. So to play the chord of D, use your first, second and third finger. You position your first and second finger on the second fret on G and high E string. Then your third finger is on the third fret on the B string. It makes a little triangle. And each individual note sounds like this. And for the chord of D, you strum four strings. You strum the D, G, B, and E string. And it sounds like this. And if you're finding that to be quite a big stretch, just make sure that you're moving your thumb down on the neck and rotating your wrist around so that you can reach the frets that you want to play. And it's quite important as well that when you're checking your chords, you check that each note is nice and clear and none of them are buzzy. So remember, as we spoke about before, your finger position in the fret is really important for making those notes sound nice and clear. So check each individual note. And once it's sounding nice and clear, the next thing for you to do is to have a go at just doing a different strumming pattern with your right hand and seeing how that impacts the sound of the chord. But remember, you can pause the video and jump back to see any of the chord tutorials as many times as you like until you are confident. So now we're going to move on to the different parts of the guitar. And the easiest way to do that is to think about your guitar like your own body. So what I mean by that is if I turn my guitar this way and I compare it to myself. So this part of the guitar is called the head. Then beneath the head, we have the neck. Then beneath the neck, we have the body. So we've got the head, neck and body. And the next thing I want to show you is that on the head, that is where the tuning heads are. The tuning heads are what we're going to use next week to learn how to tune our own guitar. On the neck, on the front, we have our frets. And we'll be learning about our frets to help us tune our guitar, um, not to help us tune our guitar, to help us play different notes and different chords. And this part of the neck is called the fretboard. That's the flat part where your fingers play the different notes. You've got your head, tuning beds, neck, fretboard. And then your body. And here on my guitar, on the body, I have the pickups because this is an electric guitar. And they pick up the signal from the strings and send it along my guitar lead, which is here, into that. So when I plug that in, then I turn the volume up and I play the string. Makes a noise. So let's recap that quickly. We've got our head, neck, body, fretboard, tuning heads, pickups, lead. Cool, because in future lessons, I might refer to those parts and talk about the jobs that they do in a little bit more detail. Brilliant, so now we're going to move on to my favourite part of every lesson, which is called... Riff of 
the week comes from a song called Smoke on the Water by a band called Deep Purple. And like all of our previous riff of the week, we only need to use one finger and I've designed it to be nice and simple, but it also sounds pretty good. So it's a good riff for beginners and it's a nice way to impress your friends and your family. So let's get started with learning it. So the first part of the riff, we're going to be focusing on just the D and G string, which is D and G. We're going to play both at the same time, just like that. So it's important that you hold your pick carefully. If you're not using a pick, just use your finger. Once you're confident with that, the next thing is to position your finger in the correct direction. So it goes zero, three, five. Slide from three to five. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, five. Then it goes zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, six, five. So let's put that together. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. Then the last part there was zero, three, five. Put it all together really slow. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five. Three, zero. And again. Let's do that one more time. Let's enjoy the rest of it. of that and I hope you enjoyed this week's riff of the week. I just also want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers, all my new likers. I'm totally blown away by all of the support of my videos and next week we're going to be learning how to tune our guitar, we'll be learning a brand new riff, and we're going to be learning a couple of new chords too. Remember if you need any help, any information, you can find me at Mr. McNulty Teach on Twitter or you can find me right here on my channel. Until then, stay safe, have fun, keep practicing, and I will see you soon.